every year. U.S. News and World Report releases a ranking of best children's hospitals in the nation. And for the fifth year in a row, Grand Rapids Helen DeVos Children's Hospital has ranked on this list as one of the top 50 hospitals. The pediatric nephrology program has been recognized each of the five years. And today we have Alejandro Quiroga, the division chief of the pediatric nephrology program. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about the program because we are so lucky to have the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital right here in our backyard for so many reasons, but you have a specialized program that is getting national attention. So why don't you tell us about it? So we have a, we're, I'm a kidney specialist. We deal with kidneys in kids. And yes, we have the only program in this side of the state, the only pediatric kidney transplant program and the only pediatric hemodialysis unit in this side of the state. Yeah, and you obviously are making big headlines for your programs and the success of it. U.S. New News Report has honored you for five years in a row. What makes that happen? Well, I think it's a lot of effort in, in many areas. As you know, we have a large uh, children's hospital uh, with many specialties and we, we take pride in what we do. Uh, we work really hard and, and we're a very highly specialized program. Yeah, when you think about kidney problems, dialysis, kidney failure, you don't generally think of pediatrics in children. So when parents take home a newborn baby, they're overfilled with joy. One of the things that does not come top of mind is that something could be wrong. And that's something that you work very hard to make sure that you can treat and help these children that do have uh, kidney problems and kidney failures. So you have a specialized program. It is called the TSC Clinic. Can you tell me what that means? Yes, it's the Tuberous Sclerosis Clinic. Uh, this is a congenital condition where you have tumors all over your body. Brain and kidneys are the most affected organs. Mm -hmm. And we try to build these multi-specialty clinics where you're going to see the brain specialist, the kidney specialist, being a genetic condition, some, sometimes the parents have the condition as well. And in this clinic, we see the parents as well. So the adult doctors come to the children's hospital and we see everybody at once. So instead of like having the care fragmented towards a week where you have scans on Monday, one clinic on, on Tuesday and so on, everything happens in one day. So it's one of nine pediatric clinics in the country. Uh, it's certified by TSA Alliance, which is also, we take a lot of pride in that. Uh, and it's one of the largest in the country. We're very proud of having this. Yeah, you say that this is something that you can help the entire family with yes. on a one-day basis. That has got to make it so much easier and more convenient for the family instead of having a schedule filled with doctor's appointments for the child, for the mom, for the dad. You can do this collectively on one day. That is such a benefit. It's absolutely a benefit and not only that, this is a rare condition. So families know about this. They talk through Facebook, through chats, and we have families coming from Missouri, Wisconsin, Chicago, Detroit, all over here because of not only what we can do as specialists, but we really try to make it easy for you. Yeah, so tell me what tubers are because from what we had talked about earlier, these are uh, problems that occur or growths that occur on uh, some of the organs that uh, children might see and it is one of the symptoms that parents can look out for. What are some of the other symptoms as well? Usually these patients are, I mean, they're quite complex. They present with either seizures, uh, they're not development, the developmental is not right. They have some skin lesions. They can have, the tubers are actually lesions in their brain. Uh, kidney problems, eye problems, heart problems. A lot of the time we discovered these prenatally through the ultrasounds, so the family already knows, and we meet with the families prenatally as well. I know that at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, you have such a huge staff and you work collectively together to make sure that every treatment is unique for each patient. What are some of the treatment options? So we mentioned transplant is one of the big options that we have. At this point, we've done around 50 uh, transplants in, in pediatrics, which is a big number for us. Uh, dialysis, we have hemodialysis, uh, we have peritoneal dialysis, and we're working on home hemodialysis right now. We have continuous dialysis. So yes, we have a large staff of dietitians, social workers, nurses, transplant coordinators, um, all sorts of people that help us with 
all of these options. I know that one of the specialized areas that you're so great in is not only working to correct the physical ailment, but also making sure that children are still able to live the best possible childhood experience and life that they can. So can you talk to me a little bit about that? We saw some of the photos sure. up and those are some of the children that have been going through your program. Yes, and uh, it's awesome to see them. Uh, I, I think the kids are part of our team. They're working really hard in, in many ways. Um, we try to heal the person as a whole. Uh, for instance, we have a teacher that comes to the dialysis unit and, and tries to, they're, they're in dialysis for four hours, three times a week. Wow. So they're she teaches them, then try to catch up with school, talks to the school. We have psychologists. There's a, a, a myriad of people that are helping us with this. Yeah, and there is a clinic. It is a collaboration between the pediatric and adult nephrology, neurology, and oncology programs. What can you tell us about this clinic? So this is some of the tuberculosis clinic, yes. And, and it's really one of the largest uh, clinics in the country. When I, when I tell people the numbers of this clinic, it sounds like we don't have a lot of patients. We have 65 patients with tuberous sclerosis, and it really, being such a rare disease, is such a large clinic, so it's, that's a tuberous sclerosis clinic, yes. Yeah. So if parents are at home and they have seen some of these symptoms and they would like more information, how can they get a hold of you? Um, well, they can contact us through a web page, um, and there will be a link uh, in there, or they can call or line that you can, you have the number right on the screen. Right on the screen, helendevosschildrens.org backslash kidney. Thank you so much, doctor. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much for having me. All right, don't go away. We have more 8 West after this quick break. Are you West?